QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022 Budgeted Income Statement Export to Excel and Modify Part Number One. Get ready because we bookkeeping pros are moving up the hilltop with QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file going through the setup process with the view drop down, the open windows list on the left hand side, company drop down home page in the middle, maximizing it to the gray area. We're going to go to the reports drop down, focusing in on the profit and loss. So we're looking at the company and financial profit and loss PNL income statement with a range change from 010122 to 022822. Customizing the report up top, fonts and numbers. We're going to be changing that font, bringing it up to 14. OK, yes, please, and OK. So our budget is going to be based off of prior data, the prior income statement for the purposes of our practice problem. We're going to take our two months of data since that's all we have. We're going to basically imagine this, this was the prior two months of data. And then so it was like November and December of the prior year so that we can imagine it going out for 12 months. And then we'll make a budget based on that for 12 months, noting that the starting point for a budget, oftentimes you start at the beginning of the year. You might take the year's information for the last year. Or you might do a budget on a monthly basis, breaking this budget out on a monthly basis and start with that for a little bit more detailed. And then you basically divide everything by 12. And, and that's kind of your starting point oftentimes for the budget going forward. Then think about your changes that are going to happen going forward. So to start this process, we could export this to an Excel sheet and then basically modify it so that we can then use it as our basis on which we start to build our budget. However, I think it's a little easier to actually take the trial balance and export that and then compare it to this profit and loss report so that uh, we don't have all these subtotals that are kind of going to get in the way. So we just want a, just a list of accounts in essence. So I'm going to come back to this one so we can kind of double check our numbers as we start to construct the income statement from the trial balance. But let's now open the reports drop down accounting and taxes and open the trial balance for the range of 010122 to 022822. We're going to customize the report and go to the fonts and numbers. Let's change its font size, bringing it up to 14. OK, yes, please. And OK. So what I'd like to do is export this since it's basically just a list of accounts and I'm focused down here on the income statement. So I'm just going to basically delete the top half of it and focus down here on the income statement as we consider our budget. So let's go ahead and export this to Excel. We'll modify it. We'll build our budget in Excel and then we will import that information, the finished product back in to QuickBooks and analyze reports with it. So I'm going to go up top and go to Excel and we're going to create a new worksheet and we're going to create a new workbook as well. So new worksheet and then new workbook. So that looks good. Export it. It has been done. It has been exported. The port has been completed. Now it's an export. So we're going to go up top and say, let's go to the file tab and say, we're going to save as put this somewhere in our folder over here. We might, we might need to make a folder for it. So I'm going to go to the desktop, put that in our QuickBooks second part. And these are going to be budget. Let's make another one, another file here for the budget for the budgeting and then we'll add that into that area and then we'll call this the budget and we'll just call it just budget and then we'll save it right there so there we have it so now what we would like to do and notice I got these these kind of dotted lines if you close it and open it back up these dotted lines kind of go away so I'm going to close it I'll go find it and then open it back up so let's go to our desktop and say I got all this junk open that you can see here and we're going to go then back to the desktop and we want to go to the budget and let's open it back up and see if that removes kind of like the the lines where the page print is going to line up. I'm not worried about where the page lines up at this point in time because I just want to construct it and then I'll worry about printing it later. So now I'm going to clean this thing up. So what we could do to clean this up, notice we have different format sizes. When we look at this cell, for example, I'm on 14 in Arial. And if I'm over here, I'm on the Calibri 11. I'm going to make everything basically back to Calibri 11 and then format it from there where I would like to format it. So what I'm going to do is copy the formatting of this cell and go to the little paintbrush here 
and paintbrush this entire thing on the triangle so that now we just have the standard that standard setup i'm going to make everything bold you don't have to do that but i think it's easier to see here uh, when we're doing presentations and then i'm going to go down and change it from 100 i'm going to move it up so that we could see it a little bit more clearly like 145 or 140 let's make it 140 and then i'll format all the cells the way i would like to see them just in general so I'm going to select the entire thing again with the triangle, right click on this thing, and we're going to format the cells. I'm going to format the cells with, uh, I like to go currency, bracketed numbers, remove the dollar sign. And do we need the decimals? I don't think we need the decimals because it's a budget. It's rounded in the first place. So we'll go ahead and remove the decimals. Let's say OK. So there we have it. So that's our starting point. Now we're just going to clean this thing up. I'm going to make this cell B a little bit smaller. I'm going to put my cursor between B and C. And I know this isn't an Excel course, but I just want to give an idea of how the, you know, how the budget would be created. So I know I'm doing this a little bit more quickly. We may provide you with the Excel worksheet as well if you'd like to just use it. Or you could just wait till we finish the budget and use the numbers to put into the data input into the QuickBooks system if you so choose. So then if I scroll down, this is what we've got. So now I could delete these top items, I don't need those two. So those are going to be gone. I'm going to select from one to two on the columns. Right click the selected area and delete all that stuff. Not necessary. I don't need column A. Those were rows, by the way, not columns. This is a column. I don't need column A. So I'm going to select column A, right click and delete that. So that looks good. And then what I typically would like to, to see, what's easiest for me, is to show plus and you know plus and minus what so maybe instead of debits and credits we want to show possibly the income accounts as positive numbers and the expense accounts as negative numbers so to do that let's let's before we get to there I'm getting ahead of myself like i'm back here and then myself is up there somewhere because i'm ahead of myself so in any case let's delete some of this stuff i have the sales account that's where the income statement starts that's where the income statement truly starts to begin or actually the equity account after the equity account so i'm going to delete everything from owner's equity on up by putting my cursor on 24 scrolling on up and just delete all that stuff and i'm not even worried about it because I, I can always download it again if i need to so now i've got all my income statement accounts and now i just want to make all my expense accounts negative i'd like to make my expense accounts negative and then combine these into one column there's a kind of a fancy way to do this so one this is the fancy way so we're going to, instead of like going into each one of them, put a negative sign into them, you copy it. And then I'm going to paste it over here somewhere to test out, test it out. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it in a special way. That's not just a normal paste. This is special pasting, special pasting. And then we're going to take it and we want to hit this little subtract icon here, subtract it. And that should take the negative of all the numbers. There it is. See, I told you so told you so and then this last one is summing it up so i'm going to delete that that shouldn't be there i shouldn't have copied that and then i'm going to take this again and now i'll just i'll just copy it and paste it right on back down there and now they're all negative the way we want them to be that's what we wanted to happen and then i'll delete this last this total column don't need that not necessary and then i just move the income stuff over over here so i'm just gonna i'm gonna cut it this time Control x or you can right click and cut instead of paste that's like moving it and then Control v or paste and then Control x here and Control v pasting it down paste it down and then i'm going to delete these two cells just so they're i don't have these funny size cells there's no reason to do that just being picky and then we can make this one a little smaller and we seem to have a lot of space here let's make a like a little smaller seems a bit excessive of the space that we have for that one we can make this one a little smaller here and then we'll have the net income on down below net income which is going to be the sum equals the sum of every of this whole thing the trustee sum formula we just sum it up and we can put an underline here if we want and that comes out to the one three two four so the one three two four does that match did i mess anything up Let's go back to the income statement, back to the income statement. I have a statement to make about income. It should be net income 1324 statement made. Is that what's over here? 1324, it is indeed. 
Okay, so that's going to be our starting point. And then from there, we'll start to we'll start to basically think about and we're going to imagine now we're going to imagine like these were the prior two months, like like <laughs> November and December. And then we were projecting from there uh, all the way January through December. So we'll do a projection for 12 months going forward, which means the starting point of the projection would be to take the two months and basically divide it by two for each line item. And that would generally be kind of your starting point. And then you can kind of make projections uh, from that point. So we'll continue on with that next time.